Hi. On this set of slides, I would like to suggest you um, a book about the mathematical approach applied to biology. But I mean, um, the focus of the book is biology, but uh, the example can also extend to medicine anyway. I believe some people may consider medicine as a science when it comes to research as a part of biology, but anyway, if you want to make this distinguish very clear, well, it can be important, I believe, sometimes to put the two names anyway. It's a very nice book, I found it by accident when I was, I was looking for an image for a book in Biomethane that I was reading. And then I found this this uh, this cover, and I decided to look for the book on the internet. And I visited very well, a lot of a lot of websites that you can download sometimes some books, and some parts of the book I could not find. So I tried to ask the library to um, find a copy for me. The more difficult is something, the more I wanted. So it's a kind of great risk of mine. So after a while, I found the book. Uh, in um, another email, the place in Italy, and the, now I have the book for a short period of time. So I was planning to prepare a set of webinars about the book because I like I enjoy the book a lot. But the, the time is very short, so unfortunately, I believe that would be the best I'll be able to do is a brief review and comment of the book. This, this webinar can be, I believe be quite handy if you are planning to buy books I don't know maybe you are planning to buy some books um, about biomathematics it's a book in my opinion can be very useful for people that are starting and people that are already advanced as I'm going to explain the book is divided into parts the first part is very basic I believe uh, according to my point of view in the second part, a little bit more advanced, they treat stochastic models. Stochastic models are a very important set of mathematical models that has been neglected, I believe, in the majority of the book about mathematics. All the books about mathematics I found so far, they neglect stochastic models. I believe that one of the reasons that stochastic model is kind of complicated, it's not very simple. Uh, it requires you to have the uh, knowledge of mathematics, mathematics a bit more advanced. Even the majority of the engineering of the, of the people that work with mathematics do not have knowledge of the, of stochastic models. But I believe that yes, as the teaching systems always change, change, change according to the demand, soon I believe that that show that will change it because as people defend and I agree. There is no special reason why this the, the Temis calculus uh, was uh, more important than the stochastic calculus. So this is the book, the, the cover of the book, and the, as you can see it was uh, written by Logan and the Polaskensky. And the, um, uh, I, I, I have never heard about this author before. Uh, the first time I saw the book, it I thought it was a very simple book, but uh, let's say uh, the book is not that simple. It's a very, it's a very special, the worth having book. Maybe I'm not sure it can be a point of view. Maybe the cover of the cover they are always complicated. People have to sell the book, so they make a very nice cover to the book. And I honestly, I prefer that you not have this kind of picture in the cover to avoid misunderstanding. But anyway, it's like marketing. The, the book does not treat the biomechanics. So here, by the spider and the insect, by the flyer, you may, I believe, maybe, you may fall into the trap saying that the book has to do with the biomechanics. It, it didn't happen to me, but anyway, uh, it may happen to you. I, mean, I don't know, maybe, because biomechanics and biomechanics are very connected, sometimes they are even difficult to say where the difference comes, so, but the book does not treat uh, biomechanics. So, the first part of the book is deterministic classical models, and the second part of the book, they are more advanced, so you have the technique, they are in general, uh, not covered in books, just in papers and the specific scientific events. 
I believe, according to my own experience and point of view, we have uh, some flaw in the literature of biomathematics. One of the reasons is that biomathematics is still uh, trying to find its way through the uh, scientific investigation. Uh, they still have several limitations that I believe make the scientific field of investigation still to a certain, certain uh, extent incipient. So that's one of the motivations of this kind of project that you are seeing right now is to divulgate to promote the endeavor and hopefully people start to use it and start to apply advanced techniques. The majority of the of the techniques nowadays, which was one of the motivation of my my current project, my PhD, has to do with stochastic models applied to biology. And the, one of the biggest problems we have nowadays is that the stochastic models has not been widely applied to biology. But the biological models they are much more uh, keen to um, more much more uh, much more. Uh, suitable for stochastic models than it is any other science. Science, uh, biology, uh, if you compare to physics, for example, which is a classic comparison people try to do, um, physics is a science that you know, I think, precisely. Quantum mechanics came later and destroyed somehow this, this, uh, this, this view of precision, but still kept in a, in a certain area of science of, of, of the, the mechanics of Newton is still precise when it, when it can be applied but uh, biology is by nature stochastic you cannot uh, uh, the most that you can use, use uh, that you, you apply that you apply uh, deterministic calculus they are just to toy models that just to show you the idea, I believe, in the Cotman experience, they cannot be applied if precision. Uh, yeah. So, the best models in biology is not a vanity, it's not a matter of choice, it's a matter of being, uh, being real. So, trying to make a realistic model. System identification is an area of the object I have never studied before, I studied now in my PhD. And the, I have noticed that the system identification is extremely important to, to mod. It, 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 it goes to the step of mod validation. Mod validation is the step in which you try to um, compare your model with some kind of real data and to see that your model can fit the data. As a matter of fact, I discovered that system identification is a very broad area. I mean, the first lesson I had was with some professors that they, they just, as always, professors they get close, they get the stuck to a specific side of the discipline. I found that the, the error that I was studied before, which was computational intelligence, is also classified as system identification. So I have here, I have. Uh, I have put them separated because in general they are separate but you can find some book that considers well the two as, as, as somehow the same. So here in general system identification there are techniques that are based on mathematics. Computer intelligence that are based in general in nature inspired uh, metaphors such as artificial intelligence if you see they are based on the brain. Computer intelligence sometimes they can be based on ant, ant colony, they can be based on the the bird, the way the bird fly and so on. So um, computational intelligence I believe uh, in spite of the fact that it's not it does not appear too much too much in the book, it's already everywhere. If you see uh, you have some programs such as system biology and learning machine, you can find from the MIT and the, um, uh, let's say that the biology is by nature stochastic and it is by nature uh, let's say computational intelligence model because the problem is too much complicated to be used just a classical technique but I, I see a kind of resistance in the literature so I'll never ask no one to to enforce this point of view but that's a point of view that could take into account so the book has a good size. It's not a very big book. It's a book that can even take with you. It's almost a pocket book. 
but yeah, it a book book can be very offensive because it's a very rigorous, it's a very well written and done book. You can learn as a beginner, I believe. I, that uh, that one of the biggest, the biggest problem when you get somehow advanced in an area that you lose the sense of the of beginning. But I believe the book can be read by beginners. So try it. If you are a beginner, if you have never heard bar, have never heard Barma Fair before, try it and let me know. Send me feedback if I if I'm right. It presents code of the of the of program that can run. There are very small codes, uh, very easy to understand. So that's a nice stuff that they give the theory and show some code and so on. It's full of example, exercise and so on. Honestly, I, I, I have never solved exercise for book. I mean, uh, the book they are full of exercise, the classical book, but I have never solved that. Honestly, I believe it's a, it's a, it is for me it's a waste of time. I prefer to find my own exercise. But some professors I found in uh, the exercise quite useful, especially to give the student homework. So if you are a professor, you, uh, you have a lot of of the of the example to to uh, to take out to destroy the weekend of your student.